Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel, Marriage and Medicine. This week we're in Naya's classroom, so I'm gonna show you guys around, kind of show you all the different things that we use. I'll even show you her curriculum and some supplies that you would need for that, but basically just give you an inside look at what her classroom looks like for us, kind of the things that we do day to day, so that if you are interested in doing school with your child at home, Maybe some of the things that I show you today can help you out. So you can see this is what Naya's classroom looks like. So she is two years old. She'll be three in March. And so all the things I got, I tried to get for a preschooler. So in preschool, they typically learn their colors. They're learning about shapes. Um, they learn about the weather, their ABCs, their numbers. They might have a calendar time. So all of this stuff that I bought is basically geared towards a preschool age child as if she was going to school at a daycare somewhere. And all of this stuff I bought pretty much on Amazon, but I'll go through each piece and kind of show you things up close and let you know where you can buy it too. So the first space we have right here, I tried to make kind of like a little reading area for her. So we got this little chair off of Amazon she loves unicorns. And then I also got this bookshelf off of Amazon too. It's really easy to, to build and put together. The only downside is that the shelves are like this mesh material. So when you put books in there, they kind of disappear. <laughs> so, I mean, it's great if you have big story books that you're storing, but if they're not big books, you're probably not going to see them. So that's the only downside to that. But that's kind of like her little reading area where she can go sit and look at some books. I put up this little picture I had. She already had this in her room, but I just moved it to the classroom. And then we started putting up some like artwork that she does in class. Now the rest of her classroom, I pretty much split up buying between Target and Amazon. So the letter line where it has the alphabet, that was from Target. It was pretty cheap. I would say it was under $10. And then this shapes little section over here that was also from Target it was really cheap also. Um, and then we had the little weather section. There were some pieces in there that I didn't include just because I already had it. But the weather where you can put up, there's little pieces where you can put up like what the weather looks like outside. And then you can even dress your panda bear for the weather. What I used are these Velcro dots. So I just stuck them on the bear that way. She can stick his clothes to him. And then even for the weather, there's a little arrow where you can go and pick what the weather is. So all of this stuff, I wanted her to be able to feel like she could change out. So we have the Velcro dots on everything that way it's a little interactive we didn't do that on the shapes but we did do that on the weather and then the calendar this was on Amazon so again we have the velcro dots so that way every day we can come up here and we can put what the day is or the date and then the month that's not velcroed I just kind of take that off with tape and then we have our days of the week this all came together, this whole section. Um, I think there were even some more pieces that I left out, but she can change all of the days every time we come up here to the classroom. So I like that that's interactive for her too. So she's not just listening to me talk about it. And then we have our colors. This was on Amazon also. So. Pretty much all of her little pieces for her classroom that's on the wall, I would say all of it was around 10 to $20. It was pretty cheap. Um, the chair was a little bit more. The bookshelf was a little bit more. And then something else that we already had was this little table. And you can tell we use it a lot for crafts. But the table does open up and... On the other side of this table, it's a Lego, kind of like a Lego surface. So your child can build with Legos. They can even store like little toys inside of there too, if you want to. 
or if you want to store little like school supply stuff in there. And then I bought, this is kind of like a little caddy. I think I bought this off of Amazon as well, just to store different little supplies that she would need. That way we kind of have everything in one spot while she does her classroom time. And one more thing I can't forget, her favorite is this pointer. We actually got this pointer from like a Staples or an Office Max or something like that, but pretty sure you can find that on Amazon as well. Another good place to look for different little school supply stuff is Dollar Tree, believe it or not. They have like a little section, I think it's called like a school's corner or something. And they'll have little different things in there too. So I would say to check them out also. Now, when it comes to her supplies, this is just how I decided to store it. I already had one of these little things around. And so I just keep all of her different little school supply stuff in here. So that way I kind of have it all in one spot and I know where everything's at. I even put just like random stuff, like she loves doing puzzles. So I put that in there. Um, you could put like coloring books or maybe even just small reading books, whatever it is that you already have. But this is the curriculum that we're using. So this is called Plain Preschool. There's actually two years. So we're doing year one. Um, and then if we finish this one, if she was still staying home, we would do year two next. So I found this curriculum actually through Instagram. There's a lady that I follow, and if you go on there to search for her, her name is Busy Toddler, just like on the cover of the book. And she has a link in her bio where you can buy the curriculum. So I think it was around $30. It's not too expensive. And once you buy it, she sends you the curriculum as a digital file. So basically, you could just use your iPad and follow along with the curriculum that way. Or if you want to print it out, you can do that too. Um, I got mine turned into a book through, I believe the company was named Watson Family Press. And I also found them through Instagram too. They're like a printing company. Um, they work from out of their home. And so they printed out the book for me. So that way I could kind of like check stuff off as we go. But definitely don't have to do that. I just felt like it was a lot easier for me to use. Okay, so this is what the inside of the curriculum looks like. So towards the beginning, she kind of just shows you how to read the curriculum, basically what each part means, um, why she put the things in here that she did, all of that stuff. So it's just a lot of information and explaining how things work basically at the beginning. And then all of the curriculum is broken up into units. So there's 19 units. Each unit is two weeks. So basically, if you did like a Monday through Friday um, for two weeks, just like a regular school would. And I love that she puts the supplies that you're going to need for the unit. And then she also puts some books that you might need also. So the thing with the books is you don't have to get... The exact books that she has listed. If you have them already, then that's great to use. Um, another good place to get them from is the library. But really, you can just get books that's related to whatever your unit is about. So even if it's not these exact books, that's still perfectly fine to use. So for example, this unit is on Apple. So I usually go to the library and try to find these books, but if I can't find them, I try to just find any book that's related to apples. Um, so you'll basically, she has all your supplies that you're going to need for the unit, the books, and then there's always a poem and a song that you're going to do every day for your unit as well. And then she has the week broken down for you. So basically you can see every day, kind of like a general idea of what you're going to do with your child. Um, she has it kind of written out in the order that it goes. And then she even takes it a step further and puts every single day like a little lesson plan for every day. And I like this because I used to be a teacher. And so this is exactly what I would do for my students also is 
having a lesson plan and it shows you the exact order that you're going to do every single activity for the day. And then it'll show you week two. It'll basically do the same thing all over again where there's a chart. It'll show you kind of the week as a whole. And then it'll break down and show you every single thing that you're going to do for each day. It does have the letters that you need for the little craft activity. Um, but it will go and show you what you have to do on every day. So for example, like this is a name recognition activity and she will detail exactly what you need to do as the parent and then what your child is gonna do also. Sometimes she does put a picture to help, um, but a lot of this stuff, you don't have to feel like you have to do every single thing for every day. Um, I kind of base it on whatever Naya is interested in or whatever she might understand. So some of this stuff we do skip, like for example, making a freight train. If you just don't happen to have the materials for that or you just don't want to buy it, it's perfectly fine if you just skip that part of the curriculum for the day and just do the other parts. Um, so don't feel like you would have to do every single thing for every day. Um, I, for the most part, a day, a lesson will take about, I would say 30 minutes, um, depending on what the activities are at the most, I would say 45 minutes. That's including doing our calendar time. We do our days of the week. We do weather. Um, we do the little song in the poem like they, sh like they showed you at the unit, and then we start doing our lessons. So overall, I wouldn't say it takes more than an hour, um, but usually it takes us about 30 minutes. So if you don't decide to print out the actual curriculum, you are definitely going to need to print out at least the letters. So if you don't do it from home, you can get stuff printed out, I believe, from like a FedEx or a UPS. I think even some public libraries let you print out stuff, but basically you're gonna need all the letters printed out because they're gonna use them to kind of make an alphabet book of different stuff. And some of the things that they had us do, I kind of just winged it and picked other things, but you can see every letter is basically gonna get something glued onto it or drawn onto it in a way to make kind of like a little art craft. And so once we get through all of the letters, this whole thing will basically be like her little alphabet book where she can go through and look at it. So that's pretty much Naya's classroom. This is what we do whenever we do school. Um, you can pretty much tailor it to whenever you wanna do it, whether you wanna do a traditional Monday through Friday or if you want to just kind of skip around and only do certain days, that's completely up to you. But this is something we've been doing since September and Naya's loved it. She's really enjoyed having a classroom of her own. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments and I can help you out with setting up a classroom of your own. And we will see you in the next video.